Hello, hello. Can you hear me, guys? Hello, hello. Hi, good evening. Hi, everybody. Good evening. So happy uh, and I'm like <laughs> happy thir <laughs> happy Wednesday. Oh my goodness, it's a person on the Jueves. How are you? How's everybody doing? Hello, Pedrinas. Glad to see you. Teacher, hello. Okay, oh, yeah, I can see more people here. Okay, so hello, everybody. I'm super happy to see you today. Thank you so much for joining. Gracias por acompañarnos a la sesión número 13. I'm like very happy to see you here. And uh, vi algunos conectados super tempranito. You know, I think I saw. Eh, Richard, I saw Jocelyn, I saw Natalie, oh, creo que se salieron por un momento, but, oh no, there she is, okay, but, but I'm super glad to see you, so, um, ¿cómo les va su miércoles? How is your Wednesday going? ¿Todo bien? Is everything good? It's good. Already? Okay. Very good. Very well. Very well, okay, cool, so I'm glad to hear that, okay. So me alegra que, que nos podamos, you know, uh, a, que nos pueden acompañar acá, you know, one more day. Um, el día de ahora, session number 13, vamos a revisar un poquito el tema que hemos comenzado esta semana, which, de hecho, ha sido bien productivo, lo han entendido súper rápido, lo están usando súper bien, que es la parte de pasados, right? Hablar de experiencias, hablar de cosas que hemos hecho. Now, today, vamos a profundizar un poquito más con preguntas, hacer ya la like, uh, one-on-one -on -one conversation, hacer preguntas about this, sobre cosas que nos han sucedido, you know? Uh, para dar inicio, to get started with today's session, voy a pasar a asistencia, como siempre lo hacemos. So, les eh, agradecería si me pueden ayudar con su camarita un par de minutitos, you know? Just to take your agenda, I mean, to your attendance. Oh my God, what's going on? <laughs> so we're to my assistance. Give me one second. Give me one second here. 
Okay, there we go. So, uh, Ana Delmi, solo me confirma, Ana, si está por acá, please. Creo que Anita todavía no ha entrado. Okay, uh, Brenda. Sí, Brenda. Brian. Creo que todavía no. Carlos, thank you. Gracias, Brian. Thank you so much. Creería que Carlos se está conectando right now. Uh, Jasmine. Danny Anthony. Present teacher. Hi, Danny. Gracias. Thank you so much. Eh, Danny Sadalberto, solo me regala confirmación, please. Present. Thank you. Giovanni. Hey Giovanni, I'm glad. Gracias por conectarse. Thank you so much. Already, so creería que ya que todavía no está acá. Jocelyn, hello Jocelyn. Good evening. Miss. Hello. Jackie, Jackie. Hello, teacher. Ah, eh. oh, bueno, ya contestó ahí, contestó. Gracias, Miss. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. And que no sé si escuché la voz de Jocelyn también. Oh, yeah, ahí está por ahí. So there, yes, teacher. Um, I am here. Thank you so much. Uh, Ignacio. Ignacio, I think he's not yet. Norberto. Hello, Norbert. Nice, okay. I like your background. So your background is very cool. Okay. Um, Marvin Bonilla. Claribel. Hello, Miss. Hello, eh, Miss. Jackie dijo que está lloviendo en Atitizaya. No sé si tiene un mensaje. Ah, okay. Ahorita no escucha muy bien. Oh, por ahí está. Gracias, Miss. Thank you. Ahorita le escribo. Let me write to you. Va, pues. O sea, me los audífonos están. Me vino la. Sí, yo. Uh, ah, ok. I see her there. Gracias, Miss. Gracias, Clarín. En Moses, creo que por ahí en Moses, gracias Moses, en Let me see, Moses, Pedrina, present teacher, gracias Pedrina, thank you for the confirmation, René Osvaldo, Ricardo, Richard, hello teacher, hello present, thank you so much, Sandra Rodas, Sandrita, no sé si está por acá. Hello, teacher, present. Hello, Miss. Good evening. Ángel. Ángel, Ángel. Present, teacher. There you go. Hey, I like it. Very good attendance. Thank you. Natalie, por ahí bien, Natalie conectada también. Teacher. Hello, Miss. Hello, hello. Thank you. I, I, uh, today I have a patient. I am going to listen to you only. Okay, got it. But thank you. Thank you so much for being here already. Uh, Marvin Lopez. No sé si Marvin ya está por acá. No yet. Sandra Flores, Sandrita. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Creo que todavía no. I think she's not here and Ingrid. Mm, but I don't see Ingrid. Okay. okay. Hello. Hello. Oh, there you go. Hello, Miss. Gracias. Gracias por conectarse. Ahorita I got your attendance. Thank you. So. Hola, Miss. Yo lo. No, la cámara, la cámara encendida, pero no me veo por la, por la calle. Oh, no se preocupe, no worries. You're good, Perfecto. you're good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and enjoy it. <laughs> and enjoy it. Okay. Okay, guys. So, 
yo sé que uh, tenemos como una depresión tropical o something like that, y most likely nos va a afectar a todos, you know? Y les agradezco sí, enormemente. No. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm super, you know, uh, thankful. So, gracias por conectarse, gracias por acompañarnos today. Uh, vamos a hacerlo, you know, um, vamos a practicar today, Simple Fast, que es un tema bien interesante, bien útil, all right. And vamos a intentar encontrar métodos alternos. Si no podemos escuchar, vamos a intentar hacerlo a través del chat. You know, we are going to write it down, so that's okay. Um, same thing, igual, yo creo que en algún momento eh, la lluvia ya se vino también por acá. But let's do the, the best we can, right? If we can do it the best possible and try to participate as well. So let me get started. El objetivo de ahora, hello, Guadalupe. I don't listen my name. Guadalupe, oh my goodness. Give me one second. Hold on, hold on. Es cierto, lo dejé limpio. So thank you, Guadalupe. I'm sorry. I don't know why I skipped it. I, but I got it already. Estaba en, en limpio el espacio. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alrighty. So the objective for today, it says participants will be able to write three yes, no questions using the simple past correctly. Vamos a practicar un poquito de preguntas positivas y negativas. You know, the three of them combined. And of course, a little bit of the speaking. Yesterday, revisamos un par de verbos. Ok, ahora les traigo ya como un, una revisión completa de verbos. So, um, vamos a hacerlo lo más rápido posible, right? We are going to go the fastest we can. Number one, necesito su ayuda con los pasados de estos verbos. I need your help with the past of them. So, vamos uno por uno. And if you know it, activen el micrófono y me lo dicen, right? O lo escriben. Voy a ponerle atención al chat también por si no lo pueden in case you cannot say it, in case estoy lloviendo, in case no logren escuchar. So, 30. ¿Quién me dice el 30? Who can tell me number 30? Okay. Okay, very good. 31. 31. Es a it's a T, exactly. Yeah. So that is the passive uh, seat, all right? Let me go and talk a couple more. Hello, Anita. Gracias por acompañarnos. Thank you so much. Norberto. Hello, Miss. Hello. Norberto, speak. Speak. Mm -hmm. Speak, yes. Speak. Uy, cerca, Spock, cerca. Spoke. 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 Very good, Spoke. exactly. Next book, very good, no worries. Jocelyn, lie. El verbo favorito de Danis. Yeah. Lie. Lie, perfect, ok. Next one, lead. Este es un verbo nuevo, ok. Lead es como de liderar, ok. O de guiar, ok. So, lead. El pasado se los voy a dar, because I don't want to be unfair, ok. No quiero uh, ser injusta, because no lo hemos visto, es lead. Lead, lead, right? De guiar. Uh, o yo guía un equipo. I led my team. Oh, o el camino okay. guiaba, right? De, de street, led. So es como led, de liderar o de guiar. Lleva, mm -hmm. O de okay. llevar, exactly. El camino okay. me lleva a este lugar. Mm -hmm. Ok. Read, Guadalupe. El pasado de read. What is the pasado of read? Red. Red, perfect. Anita, the pass of grow. No. Una letra no. cambia. One letter changes. Norberto, creo Blue. que lo escuché. Group, perfect. Yes. Uh, lose, angel. The past of lose. De perder. Lose. Lose. Yes. I don't know who yeah, said it, but yes, that is lost. Uh, Richard, the past of fall. Yes, teacher. The past of 38, fall. What is the past of fall? Una letra cambia. What letter changes? Real? Fail. Fail. Exactly, fail. Very good. Clary, Clary Bell, send. Uh, 
I don't remember me. Okay, anybody wants to help Claribel with number 39? Sen, what is the Sen. past? Sal. Sen. Sen, exactly. Cambiamos la D por la T. Okay, very good. That is Sen. Sandra, thank you. Exactly, that is Sen. Now let's move on with the next one. Anthony, number 40, build. I don't know, teacher. <laughs> que no me puedo. <laughs> okay, Bill. Una letra cambia. One letter changes. Anybody? Uh, ¿Alguien quiere ayudar? Somebody the, wants to help? D Chander of T. Perfect. Built. Yeah. Exactly. Built. Built. Very good. Understand. Somebody wants to help me with understand. De comprender, de entender. How can I say you entendí? I, I see something in the chat. Hey, Carlos, hello, good evening. Thank you. Understood. 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 Very good. Como el pasado de stand que vimos ayer. Understood. Exactly. Okay, okay, okay. No worries. Gracias, Brenda. Thank you so much. Draw. ¿Cuál es el pasado de dibujar? Draw. Thank you so much. Ooh. Got it there, Brenda. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos, too. Bro, cambia la letra A. E? For E, exactly. So, draw and drew. Ooh. There you go. Exactly. Break. What is the best of break? Brock. Brock. Very good. Brock. Span. De gastar, de pasar tiempo. Span. Cambia una letra. One letter changes. D for T. D for T. Spent. Yeah. Very good. What about cut? Number 45. What is the pass of cut? We cut. The same. It's good. Exactly. The same. Very good. B. What about B? What are the two forms of B? Was and where. Was and where. Was Excellent. And where. Yes. Yes, yes. Drive. What about drive? What is the path of drive? Drove. I drove. Oh, drove. drove. I drove. Le cambiamos la I por la O. Okay, drove. Very good. Buy. What is the path of buy? Both. 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 Perfect. Exactly. Both. Now, where is un verbo probably new? No lo hemos visto, así que I will give it to you. El pasado de where. First, primero, ¿cuál es el significado, guys? What is the meaning of where? Usar. Usar. Cuando hablamos de ropa, right? De vestir. Exactly. Like when you say, yo ando puesta una blusa. I wear a blouse. El pasado es where. Where? Where? Yesterday, I wore a blouse. I wore a dress. So, wore. Es el pasado de wear. Mm -hmm. Or like, I am wearing, I am wearing a blouse. Estoy vistiendo ahorita, ando puesto. So, wear es de vestir. And yesterday, vimos number 50, que es choose. What is the past of choose? Choose. Le quito una O. Yeah, I eliminate one O, chose. and that is chose. 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 chose and chose. chose. What is the meaning? What is the meaning of choose? Escoger. Chose. Escoger, exactly. Mm -hmm. Select, right? Like when you say, oh, you te escojo. I choose you, okay? Choose <laughs> so you. choose, okay? So you have to choose. choose you have you. to select. Very good. Oh. Yes, nice, nice. Already, now, que ya los hemos re revisado un poquito, vamos con la primera parte of today's activity, and it says, read Mrs. Mendoza and Mr. Torres describe their experience with two different companies, right? Um, first, Mrs. Mendoza, I need somebody's help. Que me quiere ayudar a leer Mrs. Mendoza experience? Me teacher. Thank you very much. Please, go ahead. Uh, I had a problem with the payroll system, mm -hmm. but a technical Ignition. team uh, to, help, uh, to help me with it. He solved it. Okay. But the 
they did, didn't, didn't? Uh, didn't say anything. He even char charged, charged me for a piece he broke. He gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand. Understand, understand it. I didn't understand it. Mm -hmm. Besides, sell it. Uh -huh. besides all that, I forget the mention that he came very late. Perfect. Thank you very much. So that was a very good reading. Okay. Now tell me, ¿cuáles verbos ven en pasado? What are the verbs that are in past from this okay. reading? Okay. Can you repeat? Okay, okay. came. Yes. Okay. So, give me one second. Vamos a seleccionarlos here. Me pueden ayudar también seleccionándolos. You can also help me. So, you said came. Gave. Okay. Gave. Uh, yeah, gave. Charge. Charge. Exactly. What? Solve it. Okay, so that Jocelyn, I'm sorry, ¿no le logré escuchar? Pero, eh, los juegos, los juegos, sí, los juegos para decirte la cara no. que nada más te I forgot, okay. I forgot. No. I had. I had, exactly, had. I had a problem. Okay, oh, came también ya está abajo. Let's do it one more time. Any other? He broke. He broke. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. Y también los negativos, right? Because we have some negative. Like he didn't say. He didn't say anything. And I didn't understand. So they are also negative ideas. Very good. Forgot. ¿Qué significa forgot? What is the meaning of forgot? O ¿Cuál es el verbo en presente? What is the verb? Or for forget. 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 Very good. Uh, what about have? What is the verb in present? Has. has. Okay. Has or have. Okay. Now, very good. So, ¿cuál fue el problema? What was the problem? Was it good? Was it bad? ¿Qué piensan de esta experiencia? El sistema de, de planilla. Okay. So the payroll yeah. system, uh-huh, okay. But al final le ayudó o no le ayudó? Was the person happy or was the person not happy? No, no le, no, no le ayudó. No, right? No, I mean, he forgot to mention he came late. Pasaron muchas cosas, right? There are a lot of things here. Okay, now Mr. No. Torres. Tenemos la segunda que es Mr. Torres. Who wants to read Mr. Ro Torres? Hi. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Okay. I had a problem with the cars, cars and time. So I called for assistant. The mechanic was pretty kind. He was there really fast and he was quick to fix my car's problem. To he, to he gave me the times about the incident and he gave me a report, report of it. Then I start the enjoy and everything was perfect. Wow, what do you think about this experience? Was the person happy? Primero, veamos esta palabra engine. I have a problem with the car engine. What is the engine? Any idea? The car's engine? Encender ignición. La ignición, exactly. In other yes. words, con el, con el motor, right? Con el sistema oh, de encendido, okay? Ignition. So I have a problem with the car's engine. El engine es el motor, okay? So I called for yeah, a Richard. system. The mechanic was really kind and he was very fast, okay? He gave me the details and I started the engine. And everything was perfect. Wow, imagine. How would you feel? ¿Cómo se sentirían? How would you feel with this? Happy, right? Very happy sí. que le solucionaron. The person was fast. 
you know, and, and I think that was awesome. Okay. ¿Han tenido una situación así? Have you ever had a situation like this? Good yes. or bad? Yes? Yes. Okay. Okay. Good, good. Now, let's answer the exercise number three. Read the information again to answer the questions. Compare with a partner. Number one says, did Mrs. Mendoza, el primero que leímos, did Mrs. Mendoza have a problem with the method of payment? Mencionaron algo sobre el pago? Did they mention anything about the payment of met the payment method? No. What do you think? ¿Con qué era el problema? What was the problem about? With the payroll. With the payroll. Oh, okay. So, ¿es un problema sobre pagos? Is that about payments? Yes. Yeah. Yes, right? In a way, yes. I mean, no para la persona que la atendió, pero sí para Mrs. Mendoza. So, yes, she did, right? Number two. Did Mr. Torres, la segunda, did Mr. Torres call his best friend? Did he call his best friend? <laughs> so, oh, llamó, no. a su, llamó a su no. mejor amigo? No, no. right? No, teacher. No. Um, uh, he he called... got it for assistance. Exactly. He called for assistance, yeah, but not his sense. best friend. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent. So, pretty much, están contando historias. They are talking about experiences. Algunas buenas, otras malas. Okay. So let's go ahead and check this out, all right? Oh, wait a second. Okay, there we go. Okay, so tenemos este par de preguntitas. Vamos a practicar a little bit questions. So, ¿cuáles son las preguntas de yes or no questions? Primero, siempre que escuchen un div, automáticamente mi cerebro se va, oh, me preguntó del pasado, okay? Div, did you call, did you do? Did you complete? Did you accept? Did you chat? So, everything is about past, okay? ¿Cómo le respondo entonces? Mi respuesta, mi respuesta corta is going to be, oh, yes, I did, or no, I didn't. Yo no lo hice. Did you do the homework? ¿Todos hicieron la tarea? Did you do the homework? Yes, no, I did. I did. No, I did. Oh, my yes, God. I did. Yes, I did. Oh, my God. Yes, I did. No, I did. So, yes, I did or no, I didn't. Okay. Did yes, you I have did. dinner? Did you have dinner today? Cenaron, no, did you yes, have dinner? No. Yes, yes, I did. yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, okay, yes, I, I did. didn't. I didn't. <laughs> did you drink Coca Cola today? Did you drink no. Coke today? No, no, I drink. No, I didn't. I didn't. Uh -huh. No, I didn't. No, no I you didn't. didn't. Or yes, I did. Okay, no, exactly. Like oh, wow, I don't like Coca Cola. Okay, cool. So, what happens? Oh, pero algo interesante. Esto es pasado. This is past. But si ustedes se fijan, el verbo no cambió. Okay. Did you call? No le agregué ED. Did you pay? No lo agregué acá a pasado. So, preguntas, yo nunca cambio el verbo. Okay. Esto es bien importante. Did she pay extra money? Did we receive a report? Did they sign the letter? So, no lleva verbos en pasado. Solo cuando yo ya voy a contar mi historia, Y voy a decir qué fue lo que pasó. Entonces, sí. Preguntas no lleva verbo pasado. Negativas no lleva verbo pasado. So, ¿por qué cambié entonces she? Revisamos las preguntas. Did she pay extra money? Yes, she did. Did we receive a report? Yes, we did. Porque la pregunta es sobre nosotros, right? Did they sign the letter? Yes, they did. Obviously, si la pregunta es, did they sign the letter? ¿Firmaron ellos? No le voy a decir, oh, yo sí lo firmé. Mi pregunta fue sobre ellos, right? Very important. Now, revisemos entonces how we can make the following equations. Number five, create yes, no questions based on the answers provided. Tengo la respuesta, pero no la pregunta. So I need your help. Number one, yes, I did. I sent the email. Si yo le digo, yes, I did, I sent the email, ¿qué me está preguntando? What are you asking about? 
¿Qué quiero saber? Did you send the email? Did you send the email? Did you send the email? Okay. Morning. Okay, okay, wait. I'm going to take notes because that's important. So, did you, oops, capital, okay. Did you send like this Ten. or send like this? ¿Cuál de los dos? Which of them? With the no, send. The first. Send. The first. Yes, yeah. exactly. Did you send D. Uh, yeah. the letter D. you said? Okay. Did you send the letter? Yes, I did. I sent. Oh, no, no era letter, right? No. <laughs> that was the email. email. Exactly. Email. I'm thinking about letters. Did you send the email? Yes, I did. I sent the email. Very good. So, exactly like that. Vamos a completar el resto. We are going to complete the rest of them. I give you five minutes. Y cuando hayan terminado, let me know para que podamos ir haciéndolo, you know, y comparando. So we can compare. Pongamos mucha atención. ¿Cuál es la respuesta? Por ejemplo, here, ellos dicen, no, they didn't. Entonces, mi pregunta puede ser con maybe they or maybe we. Entonces, tenemos que ir machando. Si la respuesta dice, yes, he did, no puedo responderle con I, no puedo incluirle you en la pregunta porque le respondo de eso, you know. Uh, it says the car turned on again. So, quiero preguntarlo del carro, de un objeto, de un algo, right? So, let's pay attention there. Tenemos cinco minutitos. We have five minutes.
One more minute. Okay, everybody, so help me with the examples, please. Uh, we already have number one that says, did you send the email? What about number two? Who has number two? Teacher, la dos. Yes, yes, miss, tell me. Did, did they check it? They park it. Okay, okay, did they check the package? Let's read the answer. No, they didn't. They didn't check the package. Yes, excellent. That makes complete sense. Very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. What about number four? Who has number four? Yes, it did. The car turned on again. Number, number three. La tengo también. Amazing. Yeah, go, Pedrina. <laughs> go for that one. Did it take car to met on a guy? Okay, the card turn on again, like this? Sí. Okay, ¿lo tienen así? Do you have it like this? Yes, ma'am. tenemos así? Do you have it like this? I, I would say, Pedrina, super cool. Solo hay una palabrita que le necesitamos quitar. There is only one it's, word we need to eliminate. It's, it, it's exactly. Es cierto, elite, elite va de más. Yeah. Well, de hecho, ambos es, pueden ser, you know. Todo depende de cómo usted lo tenga. For example, did it turn on again? Está súper bien. Pero como no, no sabemos de qué estamos hablando, imagínense que... Yo le quiero preguntar, es una pregunta al azar. Tendría más lógica si le pregunto, did the car turn on again? Right? More específica. So, eh, pero ambas están bien, solo que no puedo tener ambas. But very good. Did the car turn on again? Yes, it did. The car turn on again. ¿Le puedo poner ED? que no hay include ED? Sí, yo le había agregado ED. Pero le habíamos agregado ED. Pero en este caso no lo necesitamos because es una pregunta. So okay. con el turn, así está súper bien. bien. Very good, Pedrina. I like it. Very good answers. Ok. Number four. ¿Quién tiene la cuatro? Who has number four? No, we didn't. We never received a copy of the receipt. Number four. Miss. Amazing Guadalupe. Go. Did we receive a copy of the receipt? Ok. Did we receive a copy of the receipt? Um, receipt. Okay, and let's read the answer. Uh, no, we didn't. We never received a copy of the receipt. Oh, this is very good. That makes sense. También podemos cambiarlo. Eh, y en vez del did, podemos cambiar un poquito esta palabra de we. Y como you, ¿verdad? Recordemos que you puede ser también ustedes. Oh, and so, para que le entendamos como nosotros. O le entendamos como you, did you. Ambas están bien. I'm not saying esta mal. No, no, no. This is good. Pero hay dos formas también de poder interpretarla. And this is okay. Todo va a depender de su contexto, right? Now, number five. El número cinco, guys. Who has number five? Yes, go ahead, please. I like it. I like it. Amazing. Uh, so, help me. Help me with number five. Yes, he did. He bought a new tire. Did he buy a new tire? Uh -huh. Did he buy a new tire? Okay. So, yes, he did. He bought a new tire. Yes. Amazing. I'm super happy, guys. You got this. You got it. You got it. Very good job. 
si las tienen así. I'm super, you know, happy about the, the, the changes. I'm super happy you got it. Now let's move on with some questions. Hi, Ignacio. I'm sorry, no la había saludado, pero leí su mensaje. Hi, Marvin. I'm glad. Me alegra que esté por acá. Eh, Jasmine, hello, Jasmine. Um, ¿Qué más se me unió after that? Okay, I think you are the only one. Guys, hablen, I mean, cuando se unan, háblenme porque a veces eh, no me aparecen quién se va uniendo. So I'm like, you know, hasta después los veo. So, teacher. Hello. <laughs> Ingrid. Yeah, well, de hecho ya lo escuché, you know. Um, creo que ya no confundo su voz con Claribel. So I, I think I'm good. <laughs> For some reason, las tiendas confundir. Desde ayer. <laughs> no, pero ya ve. <laughs> es que el oído, you know, por alguna razón se parece. So. Revisemos un poquito this topic again. Uh, Ignacio, yes, please. Uh, uh, sorry, but I prefer the right of uh, the chat, my my present in the class. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah, I, I think I saw it. I think I saw it. Thank you, though. So, revisemos un poquito las preguntas. Remember, estamos con preguntas cortitas, right? The sí o no. So, uh, ¿qué va a llevar mi pregunta? Did. Luego de quién estamos hablando, did you, ok, did he, did it. Le quiero preguntar, ¿llovió en su casa ayer? ¿Cómo le pregunto, llovió en su casa? Voy a respetar esta misma estructura. Ya vamos a ver cómo, ok. And complement. Es bien fácil, solo debo de seguir estos elementos. So, quiero preguntarle si llovió. ¿Cómo le preguntaría si llovió, guys? How would you do that? ¿Cuál es el verbo llover? How do you say llover in English? Did you rain in? Rain. Uh -huh. Rain. A ver, rain. Bueno, ¿cuál es el sujeto? ¿Cuál, ¿Qué palabra puedo utilizar para decirle si llovió? ¿Qué es la lluvia? You know? ¿Qué es eso? Es un eso. Entonces, ¿cuál es la pregunta si llovió? ¿Cómo le digo? ¿Llovió ayer? Did it rain yesterday? Did it rain, exactly. Did it rain yesterday? Yeah, did it rain in your house? Did you rain in your community? Did, you, did it rain in the place? So did it rain, okay? Now, I want to ask you, for example, uh, did you, let me see, parte de los verbos que vimos ahora, speak, okay? Again, el verbo nunca va a ir en pasado, entonces siempre utilizo speak. I want to say, for example, se hablaron con su jefe. What is the question? Did? Did you speak both? Did you, uh -huh, speak? Ok, did you speak? Or did you, cambiamos a speak por la palabra talk, que se oye mejor. Did you talk With to boss. your boss? Exactly. Did you, oops, mm. did you talk to your boss? Ok. Did you talk to your boss today? Did you talk to your mother today? Uh, did you talk to your <laughs> husband or wife or children uh, today? Let me. To, to change with. No. Wait, por ejemplo, acá. With, uh, ahí, with, con, <coughs> no, no. Do you talk with your boss? Mm, to be honest, quizás no. la palabra to es más adecuada. No es que no se entienda, no. sí se entiende. But eh, podemos utilizar talk to and speak with. So la palabra speak es más común con la palabra with. Es como, es como si se casaran, ¿verdad? Y talk uh -huh. es más común con la palabra to. Do you talk to? Uh -huh. uh, so this okay. is why. Hay unas palabras, ya la vamos a ver, de hecho. Por ejemplo, the word listen, ¿ok? The word listen siempre va después un to. Did you listen to? Siempre va casada con la palabra to. Por eh, ejemplo, did you listen to music? Did you listen to the radio? Did you listen to... You know, to the news about Bitcoin. <laughs> oh my God. So, listen to, siempre van casadas, okay? Do you listen to the news? Voy a escribir eso. To the news about Bitcoins? About Bitcoins. Okay. So, do you listen to the news about Bitcoin? And this is only, oh, yes, I did or no, I didn't, right? And that would be it. Guys, I want you. Yes, I didn't. Yes, okay. I did. Yes, I did. Yes, yes I did. Uh -huh. Yes, el, I did. Bitcoin, el Bitcoin is, a, is a good business. Yes, I did. I mean, like, así. Yes, I did. Sí, lo hice. 
El didn't es la negativa, right? So, yes, I did. ¿Qué se me dice? I'm going to write, la voy a escribir acá arriba. Yes, I did. Or no, I didn't. Mm -hmm. So, aquí está. Those are the answers that we can use in English. Again, esas son las cortitas. These are the short answers. Guys, quiero que me ayuden escribiendo cinco preguntas en pasado. Um, hagámosle con cosas que podemos hablar, right? No utilicemos terceras personas, but uh, cosas que ustedes puedan contarnos un poquito más, ¿ok? Did you make breakfast today? Did you listen to the news? Did you watch TV today? Did you listen to music? What kind of music did you listen to? Cinco preguntas en pasado, right? Five questions in past, please. Si alguien tiene preguntas, dudas, no está seguro, let me know y revisamos las preguntas. It's totally fine. Si las quieren compartir en el chat, also, you can write them. Pueden escribirlas por ahí. You can write them there. Teacher. Yes, Richard. Eh, solo una, una, una one question. Eh, uh -huh. Ayer, ayer no pude terminar eh, lo de los verbos y he tenido un problema con, con un verbo que eh, el left significa izquierda. Es pasado. Entonces, ya se lo voy a escribir en el chat. Entonces, quiero... Quiero completarlo porque... Creo que ya sé a cuál se refiere. I think me, I know. Me, no. me, me, he confundido, me he confundido. Lo escribo Entonces, acá abajo. Si no me equivoco, me está hablando de este verbo. Left. Yes, yes. Ok. Ya, yeah. recuerda que hay muchas palabras en inglés que todo depende, el significado va a depender de todo lo que hay alrededor, del contexto, sí. como le llamamos. La palabra left sí significa izquierda. Por ejemplo, sí. si yo le digo turn left, Inmediatamente me está diciendo que doble a la izquierda, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero también yo tengo el verbo leave, de abandonar un lugar, de irse de un lugar, ¿ok? Y yo Correcto. sé que el pasado es left. ¿Cómo hago la diferencia entre el significado de estas dos palabras? Cuando usted utiliza un, la estructura de, de oración, usted va a saber que este es un verbo y no la palabra izquierda. Por ejemplo, left, cuando usted diga I left, Nunca se puede entender como yo izquierda, si no es como yo me fui. Si le digo, Ajá, Dani sí. left, oh, Dani se fue, ok. <ríe> Él nos abandonó, ok. O Guadalupe left, Guadalupe left very early. Ella se fue temprano. Entonces, siempre que usted vea un sujeto y luego la palabra left, o escuche, I left, she left, they left, automáticamente me estoy refiriendo al verbo, you know, a fue. abandonar, a irse. En, 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 español, en español podría ser se fue. Sí, es y, irse, y, abandonar, ab ah. irse de un lugar. Uh -huh. Por eso es que cuando usted dice, yo me voy de mi casa a las 7 de la mañana, usted utiliza leave. I leave my house at 7. Today I left my house at 8 p.m. or at 8 a.m. So left. De abandonar. Y el, presente, y, el presente, y el presente de este sería el leo. El presente es este verbo. Oh, ya, yeah, leave. Uh -huh. Leave. Leave, leave. Correcto. Y left. Correcto. Leave and left. Leave the Levi y left, por decirlo así. Leave the Levi. <risa> no, o sea, para, leave. Pronunciarlo, para, para pronunciarlo. Uh, creo, creo, que se me hace, creo que se me hace más fácil así. Leave. Leave. Ajá. Leave. So leave. Ajá leave. Y el otro es left. Pero, que eh, se fue, se fue, por decirlo así. Sí, como ella, ella se fue, pero de un lugar, ¿verdad? So, she left. Like, oh, where is Ignacio? Él se acaba de ir. Oh, he left. Ok, so, ah. es irse de un lugar. Ya. Yeah. O sea, que sí cuando, tenías. Miss Juan, o sea, que cuando decimos I live, I live es yo voy. Presente, pero, presente, no, no va, voy, no, pero no en el sentido de yo voy a un oh. lugar, sino que yo abandono un lugar, you know. Uh, si yo le digo, por ejemplo, no yeah, exacto, es como yo me, exacto. So if I say I leave my house at seven every day, yo me voy a mi casa. es 
no es que yo voy a mi casa, es que yo me voy de mm. mi casa. Como yo salgo, pues, vaya en nuestra Salvador y al... yo, salgo <risa> yo salgo de mi casa. Ajá. O yo me voy de mi casa. A sí, me yes. Igual, oh. igual, igual, sad, ¿verdad? Es el es pasado de sit, ver. Ajá. El vio, por decirlo así, ¿verdad? Uh, are you talking mm. about so? No. Do you mean so? Uh, es, 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 sí. Sí, so. Sí. Yes. This one? Sí, so. Yes. Ya. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Ah, porque también me confundí porque en unas palabras eh, como que lo utilizan como, como, se refieren como a sierra, algo así. De hecho, también significa sierra. Sí. So, sí. so Entonces también es, una, es un ponerle, cerrucho. Uh -huh. Yes, al ponerle al ponerle al sub, el it se significa lo vi. Exacto. Le ponemos el you significa te vi. Exacto. Entonces es bien es bien cambiante, pero sería después, por decirlo así. Siempre que vea sujeto o un pronombre junto con so significa ver. That is the idea. I okay. saw you. Hey, yeah, so Giovanni, I saw you yesterday. I saw you in, I don't know, Metro Centro Santa Ana, right? So I saw you. I saw him. I saw her. Como dice, I saw, yo vi. Esa es la idea. Pero si usted dice, por ejemplo, I bought, I bought, y luego le agrego la palabra I saw, no tiene sentido si yo digo, yo compré una, una vi. Una vi <ríe> no ajá, tiene ajá, sentido. Ahí. En ese contexto, ahí va a cambiar, ahí va a cambiar el significado. Exacto. Entonces, ese, esa duda tenía porque vi estos, estos, estas palabras que de una forma se expresan de una, de una manera. Sí. Y poniéndole eh, tercera persona, sí, por decirlo así, eh, ya cambia el verbo. Bueno, well, los pasados no le agregamos S ni nada. El pasado no sufre mayor cambio. Pero eh, a eso nos referimos con el contexto. Que lo ah, que está okay. alrededor le va a dar el significado de una palabra. Uh -huh. Sí, eso tenía yes. la, la, la duda ahí. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. You are so welcome. Okay, guys. Todos tenemos las cinco. Do we have the five questions? Las finalistas, do you have them ready? How many do you have? Three, four, none. <laughs> Ninguna in process. I have, I have three. The hamster is not working. Okay, you got three. <laughs> okay, okay. So three questions is good. We can start talking. We can start discussing. So, vamos a ir a grupos para que podamos tener la oportunidad de practicar más, you know, so we can speak a little more. And uh, no se limiten a yes, I did or no, I did and then más información. Oh, yes, I did. I went to this place, pueden comenzar a hablar de eso, you know, please speak about it, so don't limit your participation to a yes or a no. Uh, tenemos cinco minutitos, please join the groups, start talking, start asking questions, and then we come back and we share the questions. So let's go. Go, go, go. Hi, Brenda. Veo que ya entró Brenda. Pero creo que Brenda estaba ocupada. I think she was doing, she was on something. Uh, Brenda. Give me one second. Where are you, Brenda? Uh, I, I don't think we will be able to talk to her. So just give me one moment. 
And let me see if I can get somebody else in the group. Uh, Pedrina, hello, good evening. Carlos, hello, I'm glad you're back. Marvin, Mr. Lopez, hello. Hi, teacher. Hello, guys. So I brought you para que podamos eh, practicar un poquito las preguntas and if we can make it nicer. So ask your questions. So you can ask your questions to everybody to listen to the opinions, right? Hey, my first, okay. my, my, first quest, uh, my first question for Marvin. Marvin. Okay. Okay. Did, did you eat? Did you eat uh, at noon? Did you eat uh, at noon? At noon. Did you eat? Uh, Almorzaste uh, al mediodía. Yes. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh, I don't. ¿Qué almorcé? Me están preguntando, ¿verdad? No. Si al, solo si almorzaste, pregunto. Did you eat at noon? Yes, I, yes, I, I did. Uh, yes, I, I did. Okay. Yes, I did. What, what do you, what do you eat? Exactly. Ahora sí, ya le puedo preguntar, what did you eat? So, ¿qué comió, what right? Did what did you eat? eat? Uh -huh. I eat, I eat uh, chicken. Macaro. El cambio, <laughs> el cambio, mister. I ate, en pasado. I ate. I ate, I ate, perdón. I ate chicken. Chicken. And what do you drink it, it, if the if if the uh, your um, <clears throat> if the, the time is hot? What do you drink? Uh, I drink again water. Okay, okay. You can you can also ask some questions to Pedrina or Pedrina guys if you need más you can you know ask each other. Pregúntale también a Ignacio. <laughs> ask questions to Ignacio as well, you know. <coughs> so very cool. Good. No se les olvide hacer los cambios a los verbos en pasado, please. Okay. okay. Very good. Okay. okay. Ignacio. Hi. Hi, Pedrina. Le voy a hacer una pregunta. Okay. Did you to go on a supermarket yesterday? Yes, I'm. I'm going to the the supermarket. Uh, I am buying the um, shampoo for 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 hair. <laughs> okay. And and you and you were were. What is your um you you bought you bought uh some some uh some you bought something at the supermarket yesterday? Okay, okay. What okay did did okay. <clears throat> Uh, Pedrina. Okay. Did you did you buy did you buy uh, at the supermarket something yesterday? Uh, yes, I did. Uh, but uh, um, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Frutas en inglés. Right. Uh, about a frogs, uh, uh, cereales, cereal, solamente, uh, and uh, I, I don't know, for example, uh, uh, soap, 
soap for, for, for cleaning your house. Uh, no question. Did, did, para servir, para, para todos creo que sería. Did they, did they watch uh, the new? O oh, we. Sí, oui. ¿Cómo? Ay, creería que la pregunta es como gustada, ¿verdad? Para todos. Uh, yes. You. Yes, you. Ya, yeah, podemos hacer you. El you es para usted o para ustedes. So you can ask, so, uh, ok, Guadalupe, did you? Y yo sé que la pregunta fue para ella, pero si no, bien general lo puede hacer, hey guys, did you? Y es para todos. Uh -huh. Ok, gracias. Thank you, teacher. Entonces, did you watch the new the new today? Did the new? Yes. The new? Can you repeat, please? What the new? Eh, eh, noticias. ¿Han visto noticias este día? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I, because I no, don't have time for that. No. no. Uh, only in Facebook. Only face. Oh, not, yeah. not, I, um, I did. didn't. I didn't yeah. today, but yesterday I, I saw the news of Bitcoins. So mm -hmm. I, was, yeah. I was, yeah, I read about Bitcoins too. Crazy, right? Yeah. Did you, did you see the news about Bitcoins? Did you see the, the new changes in El Salvador? Yes, I did. Like los chorros, los chorros street and all those things. Yes. What sí. did you think about the, 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 the other, the other? Money. What did you think? About Bitcoin. What did you think? Aha. Uh -huh. um, um. <laughs> ¿Qué pensó? Uh, no sé si lo dije bien. Yes, no, your question, your question is good. But I was thinking okay. like, oh my God, that's difficult. <laughs> Because yo trabajo con Bitcoins. I mean, and I don't think it's a good idea. But anyways, <laughs> yeah, okay. but. Yeah. No Because uh, the Bitcoin for me is super rare. Strange. Strange. I would say Ajá. it's Como. complicated. It's complicated yes. to understand how Bitcoin works. But I, I, you know, I have like, I'm, I'm not a positive person. Sometimes I'm very pessimistic. <laughs> so, espero equivocarme. I hope I'm making a mistake. <laughs> But, okay. but I just think, necesitamos mucha educación financiera, I think. So, yes. So, I don't know. I have my, I'm very conservative <laughs> with that topic. Uh huh. What yes. about you? Are you happy with the changes? Are you confused? How I do confused. you feel? Yeah. I'm confused yeah. as well. But, anyways, okay. Okay, do you I have more information? Yes, me too. I need a lot of information because, uh, yeah, creo que por un año he trabajado con bitcoins y no entiendo. <laughs> And I still don't understand. <laughs> so I think it's complicated. <laughs> But anyways, okay. Yo siento que esa, esa, esa propuesta para nosotros, un país que somos subdesarrollado no nos va a funcionar. Y no en inglés. No, no. It doesn't work. No, yes. Ok, yes, eh, I, yes eh, I agree. It is a good idea. Uh, no, it is no, a bad idea. 
No function. You can say, um, yeah, you can say it doesn't work. Como trabajar. Eso well, significa yes. como no funciona. It doesn't work. So yes. this idea doesn't work in El Salvador. Yes. It doesn't work. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we, we will see. Vamos a ver, right? Like in six months, we will see. Right now, I think it's it's a shock. <laughs> I think we are in shock still. Okay. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Guys, tienen más preguntitas? Do you have more questions ready? More questions waiting? Did you prefer the lunch in the morning? Oh, did you prepare lunch in the morning? Did you make lunch today? No, I didn't. Yeah. You didn't? Norbert? No, I didn't. You didn't prepare lunch? Richard, do you prepare lunch? No, I didn't. Nobody prepares lunch. Jocelyn, dieta, what dieta, about you? Dieta. Come on, did you prepare lunch, Jocelyn? Yes, yes I did. Ah, okay. Well, I I no, do it's... I do home office, so I I make lunch. <laughs> uh -huh, but but it's cool because I am at home. Drink, drink I am drink a uh, vena. Ah, uh, oatmeal. Okay. Yes. Wow. So you are on a diet. Oh my Alguna. god. Oh my goodness. It's okay. Oatmeal. All right. That is a very good diet. Yes. People, people say that, creo que es la de fisiculturistas, right? Yes. Yeah, that's a good diet, pero no sobreviviría. Yes. I wouldn't survive. <laughs> so, yes, teacher, yes. yes. So so what? I, I, I... Sabe, sabe, eh, eat, um, eh, mm -hmm. eight, eh, eat, 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 eh, eight, eight, no sé cómo se dice. Fish? Fish. Mm -hmm. O sea, que, que se come estando en esa... En esa no, en it's okay, en... it's okay. Lo está explicando bien. Continue, continue. Uh, <laughs> so you eat um, fish. Um, discipline, uh, discipline, uh, eh, difficult, strict. Yeah, it's too difficult. But yes. are, are you a power, are you a power, eh, a bodybuilder? Are you a bodybuilder? Yes. Bodybuilders son los fisio, fisio, how do you call it in Spanish? Físico, exactly. So in yes. English, it's bodybuilder. Are you yes. a bodybuilder? Yes. Oh, oh my God. Practice, practice. Okay, so you're a bodybuilder. Oh my yes. goodness. So you eh, eat oatmeal, tuna? Yes. Eh, vegetables. Vegetables? Sí. Yes. Chicken, eh, chicken, okay. Chicken, eggs, eggs. yes. Eh, Integral. <laughs> so yes, yes. Pupusa, okay. yes. Wow. Una, one, one weekends. Only Big one. Time. Yes, un, uh -huh. one diet a weekend. Okay. Oh my God. I admire yes. bodybuilders, but as you said, son super disciplinados. They are very disciplined. Yes. Yes. And I think it's very difficult. Yes, el, y también igual el, 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 el estómago se, se acostumbra, ¿verdad? Entonces al cambiar de repente... You get la sick. Sí, yes. Mm -hmm. eh, cambia la, aliment la alimentación. Eh, mm -hmm. Tiene bastantes estragos. Pues. Okay, so you can say, I get sick. I get no. sick. So me enfermo. I get yes, sick. Yes, yes. Okay. I mean, yes. I understand. Dice que el año... El año si me va a decir el año pasado, es pasado, así que en inglés. No, pues no. Yes, yes, okay. in English. Last year. Ah, pues no, pues la, no. Come on, come on. Last year. Last year. Uh -huh. eh, sí. Last year. Last year. Last year. Ah. Um, ya le digo, quiero ver. Uh, sería, I, I was going to compete. Oh, um, okay. Uh, eh, in, in El Salvador? Uh, good, yeah, yeah, yes, eh, okay. 
Eh, put in sink. Eh, no, no compet. But okay, so you were in a competition, but you got sick. Yeah, yes, me oh. enfermé. I got sick. Entonces, okay. Entonces, and you didn't eh, no, compete. Yes, yes. Eh, 15 días tenía antes y ya no pude ir. Okay, I I didn't I didn't compete. Yes. Okay, yes, eh, me dio neumonía bacteriana, oh. entonces no pude. Wow. Y me vine abajo, entonces wow. ya no pude. Estaba pesando 225 libras. Mm. Solo en masa. Wow. ¿Sí? Okay. Y en grasa tenía 0.7. I don't entonces, understand that. <laughs> yes, entonces. Eh, I have me, no idea, okay. Wow. Así but you were, yeah, but you were a bodybuilder. Wow. Yes. Okay. Boté, boté dos años y medio casi de, de, de work. No, but it was your health. También era su salud, you know. And yes. in a way, you had to make. Entonces, mm -hmm. eh, 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 y start. Eh, you started eh, again. Yes. You yes, started este over. Eh, mm -hmm. month, month, eh, month? This month? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Eh, okay. Julio. July, eh, July, okay. eh, competed eh, a peso, peso, no sé cómo se dice. So you are going to compete? Yeah, eh, eh, solo practice, nada más. Okay, you are going to start. practice? In, eh, inicio otra vez. Okay, you are going to start. start. Wow, yes. so congratulations. I'm happy that you are, you know, into this discipline. And I think yes. it's very important. And my total admiration, you know, because... Um, yo sí sé que es muy estricto. I know that it's a bit sí, strict. Bastante. Yeah, but but I'm I'm happy for you. I'm happy you esto, made it. Es, esto sí el, esto sí se lo voy a decir en español. No, en que... English. Sí, sí. <laughs> eh, Spanish que, is not mire, for me. Mire, qué difícil, qué difícil es ver. So it is difficult. Es difícil eh, eh, to see. Ver... <laughs> sí, uh -huh. it accompany a uh, pupusas. I not eat. Okay, so yes, it is difficult so to see Norberto eating pupusas, and you're yes, like, yes, pupusas. I, uh, yes, yes, yes. I understand the feeling. Okay, the I understand. <laughs> so you, you, you get a heartache. So it's a yes. heartache. Yes. <laughs> so da un dolor de corazón. Okay, I got Lloro it. Lloro solito. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Guys, it was a pleasure to listen to you. Me alegra enormemente los avances que están teniendo. How you communicate. Norberto, casi no lo escuché, but, but sí lo estaba escuchando esos días. Right now, I don't know what happened. <laughs> but hopefully, hopefully we will in a couple of minutes. But I'm glad, guys. Me alegra muchísimo que lo estamos intentando en inglés. So yes, congrats. That was very cool. Vamos a regresar. Let's go back to the main meeting. I'll see you in a second. So uh, thanks a lot for coming back. Hi, Rene. Good evening. Me alegra verlo por acá. I'm happy to see you here. I hope you're good and fine. So thanks, everybody, for coming back. Gracias por regresar. Thank you so much. So we were asking some questions about uh, previous experiences. And, and I'm very happy. Me alegro mucho escucharlos intentando, giving it a try, comunicándose in your own way, in your own words. So I'm, I'm really happy, guys, to see the improvement that you're having, especialmente con este tema. Now, uh, vamos a hacer un, un breve, you know, um, review de la estructura gramatical y algunos cambios que suceden here in affirmative, negative, and questions in simple past tense, solo para clarificar this topic. We know que hay un par de cambios, right? Especially en esta categoría. Affirmative sentences, siempre cambia el verbo. I worked, I, we started, they forgot, he spoke. So el verbo siempre va en pasado. Now, negative. What is an important point in negative? Yo voy a utilizar didn't para los verbos y el verbo no lo cambio. So, for example, I worked, I didn't work. 
Si digo we started, ¿cuál es el negativo de we started? ¿Cómo digo nosotros no comenzamos? Anybody, any volunteer? We didn't start. Perfect, Carlos. We didn't start. So very good. No me le agregó EB, and that is the best way to do it. They forgot. ¿Cómo digo a ellos no se les olvidó? So they forgot. They didn't forget. Exactly. They didn't forget. Yeah. A mí no se me olvidó. I didn't forget it. O se me olvidó. I forgot it. Okay. <clears throat> he spoke. Negative. ¿Cuál sería la forma negativa de he spoke? He. He didn't. He didn't. Perfect. He didn't speak. Exactly. So, él no habló. Okay. Él no, él no me habló. <laughs> He didn't speak to me, okay? Pero speak. Ignoration. Porque, porque he ignored me. <laughs> porque yo llevo el didn't, exactly. Now, vamos con preguntas ahora. I worked. Did I work? Trabajé. Oh my God, did I work today? Trabajé ahora. <laughs> okay, no, cuando no estás no seguro didn't. si trabajo no o didn't. no trabajo. You know? uh, we started. ¿Cómo es la pregunta? We started. Did, did where uh, did when no we, we started start we start we did, did we start siempre comenzamos we, con el did did we yes. start comenzamos okay y cuáles son las respuestas what are the answers Norberto mm, yes I did yes I no. did no I didn't no I didn't Oh, okay, ¿cuál sería otra posibilidad? What is another possibility? Did we start? Comenzamos. Did we start? Yes, we no, we start. So, yes. yes. No, no, yet. Pero me falta. No, un, yet, for example. Un pequeño mm, cambio, una pequeña palabrita. Yes, we. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes, we did. La, re, la pregunta lleva el we, entonces yo respondo con el we, right? Yes, we did, or no, we didn't, nosotros no lo hicimos, no, we didn't. Podría ser lo de I, sí tiene sentido, it makes sense, but eh, para que vaya en concordancia, you know, we, so we. They forgot, what, what the negative you said, they didn't forget, super good. ¿Cuál es la pregunta? What is the question now? Did they forget? Did they Did they forgot? Forget? Exactly. Did they forget? Did they? Se les olvidó la reunión. Did they forget about the meeting? Se les olvidó el cumpleaños. Did they forget the, the birthday? Se les olvidó el dinero. Did they forget the money? Okay. So no. what is the answer? No. They didn't. Very good. Very good. Yes, they did or no, they didn't. Exactly. Exactly. There we go. The last one. He didn't speak. Now, question. ¿Cuál es la pregunta? What is the question? Did he, did, he did he? ¿Puedo cambiar el verbo? Can I change the verb? No. 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 Speak or spoke? Did he speak or did he spoke? Speak. speak. Yes. Did he speak? ¿Por qué speak? Porque cuando yo tengo did, no puedo utilizar, no puedo cambiar el verbo. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. Dijo algo él. Did he speak? <laughs> okay. So what is the answer? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. And there we go. So what are the changes? Change number one. Utilizo los verbos. Los que acabamos de revisar, les, si les agregó EB, si hago el cambio, solo cuando son afirmativas. Negative in questions. No puedo cambiar el verbo. I cannot change it. Y voy a utilizar el did como auxiliar. Are we good? ¿Alguna preguntita? Do you have any question? Dijo en, en negativo y en pregunta no cambia el verbo. Solo It's correct. En exactly. Exactly. That is correct. So here, uh, cuando veamos un did, you know, like I didn't, ya sé que el verbo tiene que ser en presente. I didn't forget. I didn't go. I didn't read. I didn't get. Pero cuando yo le cuento y le digo, ayer fui, ahora sí me lo tiene que cambiar. I went to the beach. I, 
started working. I worked yesterday. I ate some sandwiches for uh, in the morning. So, cuando me cuenta de cosas que hizo, verbo en pasado. Cosas que no hizo, verbo en presente. Preguntas, verbo en la forma normal o en, en el presente que le llamamos. Mm -hmm. Exactly, that's it. Are we good? Are we okay? Okay. Perfect, okay. Vamos a seguir practicando. You know, a medida que lo practiquemos, van a surgir como, oh, necesito preguntarte esto. So, vamos a empezar a armarlas, right? Okay, uh, before doing this exercise, tenemos un poquito de speaking, all right? Um, I want you to take a picture, tomémosle una eh, picture super quick here. Vamos a intentar hablar. We are going to communicate, okay, with these questions we have right here. So this is a little bit of a speaking practice. Number one says, who was your first crush, right? Like your first love, puede ser un artista, you know, a singer, a dancer, anybody. What was the last really difficult thing you had to do? Something hard. What was the best meal? So meal es como la mejor comida, the best meal you ate recently. Talk about the last time you were really scared, que les dio mucho miedo. Tell me about the best or the worst teacher or the worst boss or the best boss. El mejor o el peor, the best or the worst, okay? What bands were popular when you were young? So, cuando tenían, you know, like 20 years old, 13 years old, ¿Qué bandas eran famosas? What ba which bands were popular when you were young? And number seven, when was the last time you were shocked? Okay, que estuvieron en shock, that you were surprised about something. No van a hablar de todas, escojan una, select one and talk about it, right? Select only one. Puede ser uno por cada una, you know, or you decide. I will give you some minutes para que vayamos, hablemos. Okay, so talk. Hablen tanto como puedan. Talk as much as you can. And then we come back y vamos a hacerlo al azar. We will do it at random. So tenemos 10 eh, minutitos. We have 10 minutes to do that activity. So let's go, everybody. 10 minutes. Hello, hello. How are you? Hello. Hello. Hello, how are you? Sorry, andaba. Sorry, andaba fuera. Oh, okay. Vale. Ve, le tomo. Vi que te, la Miss había subido la, una foto. Miss, no, no le tomé captura a eso. Andaba haciendo algo. Me había levantado. No le escucho, mis. Ah, ya. Yeah. Thank you, mis. Vaya, hoy sí.
Thank you, Miss. You're welcome. Vaya. Me había levantado, Miss. Vamos a, vamos a preguntarnos esas, esas, valga la redundancia, esas preguntas que había subido usted. Ok. Son varias. So, pueden escoger una. You can select one como una diferente, cada uno, o van una por una. Whatever works, lo que les funcione. Ok. En Alberto. Hello. Bien. Mm. La primera está interesante. <laughs> What was your first crush? Okay, you're for me. Yeah. No, no speak. <laughs> ¿Por qué? No, no lie. Tell me, tell me, tell me. ¿Por qué? It is okay. It can be a famous yeah. person. It can be an actor, an actress, a singer. So it's fine. Or Ustedes escojan de cualquier angular, that's okay. 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 Other question. Other. What's what the. Um... Oh. What? What's the number of La cuatro será por casualidad. Vaya, Norberto, ¿cuál, cuál de todas? Excuse me, estoy analizando. Ajá, que sí. Las cinco, tal vez. Mira, la bicha, la bicha esta. Besos, besos, work. ¿Qué quiere decir? Besos, work. Best is like good, best. super good. And worst is best bad. Worst. Mm -hmm. So the best, Malo. O sea, good. El, el mejor o el, o el peor profesor. Exactly, exactly. Ah, okay, okay. Or boss, it's a teacher or a boss. Okay, it's still my... Um, a mí... Me, he says, mm, I teach her the math, but okay. and work, and work. He was yeah. the worst. <laughs> work. The worst. Sí. Work um, and teach, teach her math. Why? Ah, um, uh, um, ¿cómo so se dice math? Explicar. Math. You, ha you have to explain to us. Math. ¿Por qué? ¿Por yes. qué? Yes, math. Ah, uh, because um, um, quiero ver. Vos, ¿cómo se dice aburrido? Ah, Como, okay. Era muy aburrido. Boys, era muy aburrido. Boys, ayuden, help, Marvin, help, <laughs> so, help. How do you say that? ¿Cómo se dice eso? No, es que, es que ver, en, era enojado, aburrido. Hay palabras, pues, hay palabras que no. Era. Quiero ver, era. Dice es Borel, 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 ¿verdad? Because this is Borel. Um, this is for it. Um, oh, Dios mío. ¿Qué más puedo decir? 
This is for it. Um, sorry, sorry. No, y que están haciendo. So, Norbert and Marvin también pueden escoger los, los suyas. You can select one I'm question sorry. and talk about it. Yes, teacher. Uh, I'm pensando. Number one. La tonic. You you know. Okay. Is 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 my first crush. Mm, and you, Brian? My first crush Only platonic. She was, she was my wife. But then actually, I like the. Wonder Woman, she was, she's beautiful. Like Gal Gadot? She's, she's beautiful. Yeah. And, and Nikki, no, and Nikki Nicole. Uh, beautiful very, for your, very, very beautiful for your eyes. Esas dos mujeres sí me encantan. Dalo but, platonic. But this is, this is uh, amor platonic. Respondiendo a su pregunta, my first crush, uh, she was. Diana. <laughs> Brian, this one? Yes, yes. Yes, a mí me gusta tanto. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the platonic love. Okay. Yeah, your crush, yeah. I guess. Okay. Yeah. Me gusta su, su estilo, así como mero gaba. <laughs> es que creo que eso es lo que me gusta de ella, pues, su estilo. Like, like very relaxing. Like a very, yeah. like a relaxing style. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Yeah, I didn't know who she was, so I checked. <laughs> okay. What about question number two, guys? What about the second one? Did, did you discuss them? Did you discuss the second question? It says, what was the last really difficult thing you had to do? Like a difficult decision, like a difficult activity, any any difficult something you had to do? In, me, in my case, I, I learned learn the drive, Dry, dry. Wow. The standard. Car, standard? Sings, sings, six or seven years. Last years. Okay. So you learned to drive a car? Yes. Uh, like. Um, um, fue, fue, teacher, como digo, fue. It was? It was difficult for me. Okay. But but um but now do you drive? But now but now I I very good. A drive drive. Oh, okay. Driving. So six years ago, as I say años, six years yes. ago, you learned to drive a car. Yes. Oh yes. Yes. Okay. yes. I yes. understand now. I got it. Okay. Uh, yes. Um oh my god, this is difficult. So boys, what about you? <laughs> what is the most <laughs> difficult thing you had to do? I have to be honest, maybe for me it's taking decisions. The last thing I had to do was to take the decision to study or not to study and what career to study. So I finished my first career and I started my second career, but I was not sure. So that was very difficult for me. What about you guys? Ignacio, what, what was the most difficult uh, thing you had to do? For me yesterday, Oh. Uh, the more yesterday. Okay, what happened the, yesterday? The, um, the, the was driving in the heavy traffic. Mm -hmm. 
for is too difficult because the too much car is at the at the small uh, room. Okay. Is is for me my difficult. That was the most difficult thing. Okay. Got it, got it. Brian, what about you? What was the most difficult thing to do? So Sorry, uh, repeat the question, please. Number two, what was the most difficult thing to do? I guess that is the question. Hold on. Uh, it says this one, what was the last really difficult thing you had to do? Something very difficult for you. I don't know. Is there anything difficult? Algo difícil recientemente? Something difficult you had to do? To make a decision, to choose something. Uh, Aprender a hacer algo, I, learn to do something. I learned the, the, the barber shop. Okay. The, was, I, I learned the barber, but... Was it difficult? Fue difícil? Was it difficult? Uh, a little, yes, but I, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't have experience. I don't have experience. But you can get it, so yes, you, you need to practice. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. I uh, a lot. Okay, okay, no, but it's cool. Yeah, por ahí vi el corte de cabello de Marvin. <laughs> I saw Marvin's haircut. <laughs> oh. Okay, how was it? ¿Cómo estuvo? Marvin me dio algo de de uh, it's difficult because it's, I need, um, ¿cómo se dice? Muchos detalles. There are many very, details. Very many details, yes. Okay. Oh, but, but if you need, but if you need someone to practice, maybe you can ask the boys to help you. So you have Ignacio here. <laughs> Marvin Rene as your volunteers. <laughs> so yes. if they want I... a free haircut. <laughs> oh, yeah, tengo varios voluntarios. Ah, I'm okay. Ah, okay. No, you see, so you are getting experience. Very cool. <laughs> they, they they are my future clients. Exactly, exactly. So creo que con solo que no los. How do you call it? Que lo dejan champepiado in our Salvadorian language. <laughs> I think... No they... What is it? No me ha pasado aún. Ah, okay. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm just saying. Uh -huh. So that's cool. Okay. You should, you should learn. You should learn to make a women's haircut. Uh, yes. I think it, it, you will have more customers, you know, with women's haircut. But it's a good start. So, guys, I'll give you some minutes to finish, and I'll see you. No. Different. Mm -hmm. uh, the people, yeah. I'm. Ya le vale. <risa> Bien, gracias a Dios no nos no nos ha afectado tanto. Like the other other country.
Y de other uh, participle, nada. <laughs> de, de Carlos. De, no. De Sandra. Y teacher. Cool. Uh, but I, I, I always sing when drive. I always I sing in here. In mm. see, in see him, yes. Yes. Because, yes. because it's, it's very difficult, but because in my work, I always see the accident and I don't like my brother have, have a accident in his, his motorcycle. Ha tenido accidente. Uh, mm, mm, for in the last year, Mm, he didn't have an uh, accident, mm. but when was when, when where uh, uh, John yes. has a uh, uh, accident, but is very um, chiquito. No sé, no no yes. puede consideración. Leve, 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 yeah, leve yes. Yo solo, yo solo es, a, a minor, a minor accident. Minor. Yes, a minor uh, accident. Minor. I, I, I am a minimum uh, level uh, accident. You can um, say I have a minor. I have a minor accident. To be con accidente menor. Yes. Mm -hmm. I have minor accident. accident. Mm -hmm. Se escribe minor, but you can pronounce it like minor. I have minor. a minor. Mm -hmm. minor. I have a excellent. minor accident. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. It's, it's, it's very difficult. It's very difficult. The, yes. uh, for example, I, I, I don't want to, to learn, uh, to learn a dry motorcycle because yes. it's, I, 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 I think it's very dangerous. Yes. I prefer yes. to, to drive my car in, and, and try to, to, and try to have a cuidado to care. No, yes. no sé cómo es. Try to be yeah. careful. Try to be careful. I, yeah. I, I am by a car. Um, Próximo year. Uh, uh, evit uh, accident motorcycle. Um, that year. Ricardo told me he was a uh, 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 accident in his in his motorcycle in the last uh, the last year. I don't know. For example, in my case, I I I told him I have a car accident. Yes. In the this December twenty 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 one. I, I don't remember. 2020, yes, this is 21. Last year, 2020? I was 2019, 2019. 19, 2019? 2019, 2019, I have accident in my car. What happened? But I sleep, <laughs> I sleep. Wow. Yes. The extrusion you fell asleep? You fell asleep? Yes, I, I fell asleep when I, when I drive in my car. And suddenly I I cry when I walk. Oh, okay. When I, when I, I cry when I walk. Yes. Okay. But I I remember when I go out with my car, mm -hmm. I saw a, a friend in my friend told 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 my mother, call call my mother and all all friends. Okay. But in, did, did you did you get injured? Se, se uh, no. Uh, mm, mm, a little because it's I, I, como surgery, como cosieron aquí. So you got injured. So you got injured. So si se yes. Lastimó. So you had a but, surgery. Mm, yes, but a little, a little. Because it's, I saw a different <laughs> uh -huh. because it's, I saw a different accident is is very uh, worse worse 
Peores, yes, peores, worse. Worse, yes, okay. worse. Okay, got it, got it. Ricardo, what about you? Um, René mentioned that you had an accident in the motorcycle. So what happened to you? Yes. What happened? Pedrina eh, también está acá, guys. Pedrina, you can ask her some questions. Yeah. Yes. Um, accident, um, motorcycle, um, eh, mm, the last time. Did you um, crash? Yes. Okay. With another motorcycle yes. or with a car? Yeah, motorcycle. Uh, the last time I was crying was when I had a small motorcycle okay. accident. Uh, I turned, I could not solve it. I, the hair, um, uh, okay. Oh, started, so, started, hold on. So, you torn or the person torn? Uh, torn in a part, like in the Behind. back? Yes, in the yo back me tener en el. <laughs> oh, so you crashed with yes. the car. Yes. So you Parte crashed de the back, the back side. Yes. Okay, the you crashed side. the back side. Uh, it's a semáforo, uh, cruise. The back cruise. side. Traffic lights. Cruise. Yes, cruise. ¿Cómo se dice cruise? En la calle cruise. Um, ¿En la intersección? Yes, eh, se dice, espéreme, ¿cómo que se dice esto? Se me ha olvidado. Eh, a semáforo creo que es. Traffic um, light. Traffic light, uh -huh. uh, zebra crush, uh, uh -huh. no sé, no me acuerdo cómo se dice, esquina. En el corner. Yes, eh, eh, escalón, eh, oh, avenue. Over escalón, avenue. Avenue, escalón, okay. escalón. Yes. Okay. Yes. Solamente. Okay, wow, but the good thing is that you're okay. Pedrina, what about you? Have you ever had an accident? Pudieron hablar con Pedrina, no sé si ella está por acá. Probably not. I don't know. He has a problem. She has a problem the the connection. Maybe she, it is raining where she lives. I think it's very common. So wow, I think that yeah, when you have an accident. Normally we get super worried and we are more careful. So, but yeah, it, it's really hard. So, but Rene, your accident was not minor. You had an accident. So minor is like, no, 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 right? There are no like, no injuries, no surgeries, nothing. But wow, so not como que si hubiera. It sounds like there was something. Yes, but I now I try to be careful because it's I I thought my, my life is very important. Yes, of course. It's it's necessary. And the, well, it's hard porque uno no lo controla, you know. Sometimes we cannot control it. No, but be careful when you are falling asleep. Mejor detengas un ratito, duermas, say you know, or something, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's better. Okay. Guys, it was a pleasure I, listening to you. I liked it because I listened to a lot of English and you gave a lot of details. So very good job. Um, we are going to return because of the time, but very good. That was good, good, good. So see you back in a bit. Uh, thank you guys. Gracias por regresar. Thank you so much for coming back. Pedrina, me alegra verlo por ahí. I'm glad que ya you are back with us. Thank you the rest. Oh, creo que está lloviendo un poquito. I think it's raining a little bit. So, gracias por regresar, guys. Thanks a lot for coming back. Um, we were having like a really good time eh, hablando con los compañeros, talking with your classmates. 
I liked it a lot. As I said yesterday, realmente me alegra que every single day practicamos un poquito más, you know, las escucho con más fluidez. Eh, escuché muchos detalles ahorita que estábamos hablando de experiencias. I heard a lot of details. And uh, como lo estábamos haciendo con un grupo, you know, like presionando, uh, say it in English, say it, say it in English, try. De eso se trata, you know. Si no nos presionamos nosotros, eh, no, no vamos a salir de la zona de confort, right? Y quitarnos el miedo. So I'm very happy um, about the results and I'm very happy what, what you're making is very good. So um, I heard like a couple of, of things here. No logré escucharlos a todos, but I heard a couple of, of answers, you know, to these questions. So share with me, compartanme, share with me number six. That is one of the last. What bands were popular when you were young? So can you tell me a couple of bands that come to your mind that were very popular back in your days when you were teenagers? Hi, teacher. Yes, of course, Guadalupe. Tell me, which were the bands? Uh, when I was a teenager, the popular uh -huh. band uh, were the New Kids on the Block. Oh, okay. <laughs> so New Kids on the Block. Okay, then can you tell me a song? I don't remember them. It's a, como like romantic. Do you remember the name? The name of one song? No. New Kids on, New Kids on the Block. Uh, maybe uh, 25 years ago oh okay yep. I, I think i think i have heard them but i don't remember okay new kids on the block guys what about the rest can you tell me a band ignacio which band was very popular back in your days all right Teacher, but oh, it's my, okay. when when uh, when we were I young, mm -hmm. is too much time the seventies the seventies. That was it's the seventies. It's too much band. For example, can you tell me one that you remember? For example, Steve Miller band. <clears throat> okay. Steve Miller band okay. and. Uh, Credence Clearwater Revival. Okay. Uh, That's very interesting because we have different generations here. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Uh, I There are music I remember, but not the bands. I'm not that familiar with the bands, but that was very interesting. Guys, what about the rest of you? So which bands were famous? Which bands do you remember? Anybody? Link Oh, yes. So you belong to my generation, my friend. Okay, Linkin Park. <laughs> okay. Any other band you can remember? When I was a young, I remember the, the Julio. Julio is his, his song, uh, Gangster's Paradise. Oh, I know the song. 1980s? Yeah. Yeah. In the 80s? Very 19... 94 for I, I remember. 94, okay. Mm -hmm. yes. I love a song. That's a cool song. Okay. Okay, very interesting. Definitely it is. Anybody else who wants to share with us the bands that you remember? The Delmi? Gorillas bands. Gor okay, Gorillas. I see Delmi like, oh, I want to say it. Say it, Delmi. What was it? Um, <laughs> my, my time. I like Magneto. Oh, Magneto, yes. And Timbiriche, I imagine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, you yes, see. No. <laughs> okay. No like. A la puerta del colegio. No I like. like it. Okay. <laughs> Pedrina, what about you, Pedrina? What music do you remember? Which band do you remember? And, uh... You're mute, by the way. You're mute. Wait, Pedrina, you're mute. It's in silencio. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Okay, there you go. 
Steve Miller, Ben, no Barabas, Power, oh, Queen. Question number seven, la siete Pedrina. What bands were popular when you were young? So, ¿qué música escuchaba? What bands do you remember? Uh, I, I, no sé, eh, baladas. For example, what band do you remember? Este, quiero ver este, no me acuerdo cómo que se llama este, es, que me servían para dormir. <laughs> But don't tell me what's el buque en los temerarios, please. No, no, no. <laughs> so I just have they were not the ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. But yes, I think we have a mix of generations and that's pretty interesting here. Guys, solamente para terminar, I have one last exercise here. Let's go, let's review this. Hagamos las negativos. You know, well, first, hagamos las pasado. Let's make them past. I have just four examples for you. Number one says, I play football every Sunday. ¿Cuál sería el pasado? Where is the past? Yesterday, I... Play I play football every Sunday. Mm -hmm. Very good. I, I or, last play. or last Sunday. I, oh, oh, did. Necesito did? Can I put did here? Did I no. did? It's I affirmative. Played. It's affirmative. Yes, I played. Exactly. Solamente played sin el did. I don't need did. A menos que sea pregunta o negativa. Okay. Two. I clean the house on the weekends. I, I clean it. I clean it. Okay. Very good. Exactly. I cleaned the house last night. It says here. Very good job. Three. Carla visits her grandparents every weekend. She visited. Very good. Good pronunciation. She visited. Exactly. She visited. Number four. I speak with my friends on the yesterday. Last night, I with my spoke. Friends. Spoke. Spoke. Very good. I spoke with my friends. So, very good job. Recordemos el did, no lo necesito porque yo cambio el verbo. Very good, good, good. So, uh, tenemos una tareita para el día viernes. Don't forget it, please. Que es escribir una experiencia buena o mala que hayan tenido, right? Pueden escribirla y el viernes la compartimos oralmente. 30 segundos, un minuto. That is wonderful, right? Eh, provecho Ingrid, enjoy it. So guys, antes de irnos, solamente let me take attendance. Voy a confirmar que hemos sumado la asistencia de todos. Everybody's here. Um, Ana Delmi, me regala confirmación, please. Let me have your confirmation. I'm here, teacher. Thank you very much. Brenda. Brenda estuvo con nosotros, if I'm not mistaken. La tormenta. Gracias, Ingrid. But ahorita ya, ya la tomo. I take it. Uh, she's here. Let me see. Giovanni. Well, I got Giovanni. He was here as well. Ignacio, me regala confirmación, please. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Marvin Bonilla. Do we have Marvin? Via Marvin Lopez. Marvin, hello. Thank you. I didn't listen to me your me voice me. before. Uh, ahorita, Brian. Um, <laughs> No, no worries, but ya lo había tomado. I already took it. Let me just make sure. René, me regala confirmación, please. Let me have your confirmation. Present. Thank you so much. Marvin López, can I have your confirmation, please? Present. Thank you very much. And Elizabeth, Sandra Abigail. Wow, Elizabeth is not here. Okay. That's super weird. Thank you, though. Okay, guys, eh, eh, ahora es la sesión número 13. Please, gracias, Danis. Thank you so much. So, no dejemos que se nos acumulen las actividades. Si tienen dudas con algún ejercicio, let me know. Claribel, estoy pendiente con el ejercicio que me compartió en la tarde. Well, Claribel is not here. But hay un ejercicio por ahí que Claribel was telling me about. Um, si alguien tiene dificultades con alguno, because no encuentra la instrucción or anything, let me know Exacto. para es poder clarificarlo. Creería que es la número la, 15. Si la tarea 15 no tiene, ¿qué es lo que pide? O sea, yo le he hecho de varias formas, pero como no, no hay indicación, no la puedo. Ya les, voy a, ya les voy a comentar. Creería que es la número 15. Ya voy a, a pedir ayuda de los compañeros. 
No, hay un ejercicio que les pide contracciones. There is la tarea número 12. Algunos no les está tomando. It's not taking the answers. Because, eh, recordemos que si llevo un verbo, necesito didn't. Si es un adjetivo, yo voy a utilizar wasn't. Debemos de utilizar contracciones. And, si no les funciona, es por el apóstrofe. Entonces, asegurémonos de cambiar el teclado a, in, a inglés, right? Sería como opción uno. O escojan el apóstrofe. Eh, váyanse a Google, pónganle apóstrofe. Y hay uno que es como una comida. Y es un copiar y pegar. Y ahí ya les funciona. Cualquier cosa, let me know. Eh, para poder, you know, hacer los cambios tú. El día de ahora tenemos one on one con... Today is Wednesday. So, con Ricardo. So, Ricardo me regala un par de minutitos, please. Los demás estamos dismissed. Nos vemos el día de mañana, right? Y no se les olvide la tarea para el viernes. Gracias por la asistencia. And have a good night, guys. Que descansen. Sleep well. Bye. Que duermas súper bien con la lluvia. Bye. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Have a good night. Bye, bye. <clears throat> Goodbye, classmate. Goodbye, teacher. Bye, Ignacio. Have a good night. All righty. Uh, give me one second, Ricardo. Hola. Hello. Solo deme un segundo. Give me just a second. Okay. Let me make sure. Se limpia aquí. Bye. Ahora sí. <laughs> so, gracias. Thank you so much. Um, so, pretty much, eh, tenemos como la one-on-one -on -one para ver algún ejercicio con el que tenga dificultades. Any topic. Eh, yo sé que tenemos como algunos, eh, algunas dudas específicas de temas. So, we can take that into account. Eh, quiero iniciar solamente con parte de mi feedback. Um, eh, siento que me va agarrando más confianza, you know. Eh, me va agarrando vocabulario también. Vamos a trabajar un poquito con la parte de gramática, eh, ¿verdad? Y con vocabulario siempre para ir incrementando. Eh, y de esa manera, um, como ya, ya tener como el orden de, de las palabras. Lo demás, I really like it porque, you know, usted siempre intenta. So you always try. And that's super cool. No le tiene miedo. <risa> um, gracias también por por la asistencia, siempre lo veo conectado bien tempranito, yo sé que está ahí, you know, a pesar que eh, sé que tiene problemas con el internet sometimes, pero yo sé que está ahí, así que thanks a lot. En, con, la, con, la, con las tareas, me he entregado las tareas a tiempo, eh, completas, así que gracias, thank you so much. Now, um, okay. eh, con los compañeros les he estado dejando un par de actividades ya de forma personal, con los que ellos tienen más dificultades, como si es gramática, si es listening, si es speaking. Now, um, what about you? ¿Qué siente que, que, qué tema le está costando ahorita? Or what ability? Siente que le es un poco difícil. Eh, yo siento que es más como, como el vocabulario, porque hay momentos que quiero decir muchas cosas, pero me quedo en la luna como diciendo, no sé cómo decirlo. ¿Verdad? Okay. Entonces yo siento que eso es lo que me está afectando un poquito. ¿Verdad? Con los verbos, eh, estoy dando una manera de aprenderme los, los pasado y presente, ¿verdad? También. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Y, yeah. ¿Y qué es lo que significa? Porque no los puedo decir solo por decirlo, sí, claro. sabe qué es lo que significa. Okay. Entonces, por eso es que le preguntaba eso del left ahora, porque ella estaba le leyendo y entonces lo busqué. Y, y, y no lo encontraba, entonces... Y encontró la traducción, seguramente. Sí, encontró sí. entonces ya, uh -huh. ya cuando ya topé y me fui a usar en Google y ahí lo encontré, entonces, y me no, dije, pero no es eso. Dije. Entonces ahí fue donde quedé con la duda y entonces lo uh -huh. taché en el cuaderno y, 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 le, y le pregunté porque eh, Gaby estaba, estaba con esa diferencia, pero de ahí, ahí voy poco a poco. Yo sé que este es un idioma difícil, porque sí... Es, es difícil porque hay que oído, boca y vista y todo de una sola vez. Yeah, you know, Entonces, yeah, es un poco difícil, pero si somos honestos, es más fácil que español. <risa> La diferencia es que es una cuestión de práctica, right? 
hemos hablado yes. español por veintipico de años, you sí, know, and, sí. y al menos yo todavía no lo hablo bien. <laughs> There mm -hmm. are a lot of expressions que no sé cómo decirlas en Spanish o cómo conjugar yes. los verbos. En mm -hmm. inglés hay menos conjugaciones, it's easier, um, pero sí es como, es de recordarse, de, de aprenderse de esas todo. reglas, exactly. Correcto, correcto, y el vocabulario correcto. pues es de memorizarlo. Y también, y también veo que, 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 que en el español es bien, es bien estructurado todo lo que se dice, y aquí en inglés no, aquí en inglés no decís cabal lo que, como nosotros lo decimos, sino que muchas veces eh, decís una palabra y ya dijiste varias, varias palabras y no se la ves en español. Entonces, hay momentos que decís oraciones que se hacen bien cortas en inglés, pero ya en español son más largas todavía. Entonces, eh, por decirlo así, vaya, you es tú. Ahora, you ya son tres palabras y tú en español son dos. Entonces, ya cambian. Entonces, eso también... Es eh, que las expresiones son más cortas. The, ¿sí? the sentences are shorter. Una de las características, de hecho, del inglés es eso, acortar lo que decimos, usar muchas sí. contracciones para hacerlo más rápido. So, eso, eso sí tiene toda la razón. Las contracciones son parte del idioma. En Spanish, entre más decimos mejor, pero en inglés, es, entre más corto, es mejor. Es más fácil, más directo, you know. So, um, ok, vocabulary. Let me see. Uh, ok, lo que podemos hacer... Una de las actividades que podemos empezar a implementar es the following. Eh, ¿Qué le funciona a usted? How do you work? Eh, viendo videos, aprende más, se recuerda más, o viendo una lista de palabras. O, ¿Qué le funciona? What works for you? Fíjese que he estado practicando con, con, con una aplicación que es Duolingo. Ok. ¿Cómo Entonces, la siente? Eso, ¿eh? ¿Cómo la siente? Eh, siento que sí. Sí, me ha ayudado porque ya estoy conociendo más palabras, estoy conociendo la, las expresiones. Eh, bueno, hay momentos que me pongo a repetir también las cosas que dice ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, siento que voy abriendo un poquito más la brecha. ¿verdad? Me Para, dijo que tenía ¿verdad? el libro de Side by Side, si no me equivoco. No, perdón, no Side by Side. ¿Cómo se llama? El diccionario. Ya, yeah. oh my goodness, word by word, word by word. El diccionario que usted mandó la vez pasada, si sí lo tengo. El que tiene con dibujitos. Sí, sí. ¿Lo ha revisado? ¿Do you normally check? Sí, it? sí. No, no, no seguidamente, pero sí lo he visto. Ok. Porque como un momento que no me queda mucho, mucho tiempo, ¿verdad? Sí, pero yo cuando sé, puedo, yo lo, 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 lo leo. Igual, mm -hmm. trato la manera de agarrar la palabra de ahí y hacer como una plana y ya tratar la manera de irme aprendiendo. Oh, ¿Sabe que vamos a, vamos a intentar? Creo que eh, me contaba usted la vez anterior que ve, veía videos sí. y que le funcionaba un poco mejor. So, I think we can do it by videos porque es cierto, eh, su tiempo es un poco limitado y como cuando tiene tiempos libres, me imagino que aprovecha para ver sí. algún video, you know, or something. So, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Le voy a compartir un par de eh, material. I'm going to share with you some material. Ok. And uh, con vocabulario. So, son expresiones, you know. So, you can listen to the pronunciation. That's very important. Y si puede, en el teléfono hay lugares donde usted puede abrir aplicaciones para tomar nota. Um, sí. Al menos yo tengo una que es un blog de notas. So, puede escribir como una oración diaria. Like one sentence. Escucha la palabra. You write it down. En, y le toma captura y me la envía. So, de esa manera también le puedo ir revisando, le podemos dar seguimiento a gramática en, y el uso del vocabulario también, si el vocabulario está correcto o no. Um, ¿Cuántas palabras? How many words ha intentado aprenderse por día? En este momento, esta semana le he tratado de, de poner a los, a los, a los verbos. verbos. Okay. Ajá, porque tengo, okay. tengo 20, los primeros 20 que, que puso. Los bueno, 20 de ayer. Sí. Ajá, ajá. Entonces, eso estoy eh, tratando de la manera de aprenderlos, porque igual, si no me los puedo, no voy a poder seguir hablando más. No voy a ir como. Nos vamos a limitar un poquito. Vale, comencemos ajá. con eso. Comencemos entonces con los, no con los 20 verbos. Comencemos mañana con 10. So, tomorrow, me, envi me envía 10. Puede ser un an audio, puede ser un audio con oraciones con los 10 primeros verbos. Por ejemplo, comenzamos con B, so me da una oración en pasado con B. Um, I was, um, my sister was in my house yesterday. 
ya una compré I broke uh, my mom's favorite uh, glass for example okay. y, y you know puede ser un audio o puede ser una oración lo que a usted le salga más fácil so you can write o, o también los puede escribir y luego les hace audio so whatever la idea es que, que podamos avanzar en y vayamos viendo el progreso right so mándeme los primeros 10 mañana los siguientes 10 el viernes you know si puede el sábado, mándeme 10 and, uh, y, y so on para llegar hasta los 40. So when sí. we are with the 40, vemos si ya no los aprendimos o le seguimos dando, lo seguimos repitiendo hasta que no los aprendamos. So Bye, I bien. think that can work. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Igual, you know, tómese su tiempo. No le digo como mándemelos a esta hora. So take your time. Si los puede hacer después de la clase, it's okay. Si los puede hacer en su hora de almuerzo, that's fine. The idea is that, you know. Like, aprendes los primeros cuentos, 40. Okay. The first 40. Okay. Okay, Ricardo, so thank you so much for your time. Espero los primeros días tomorrow. Okay. Yes. And pretty much that's it. Cualquier duda, you know, anything, let me know, me escriben. And I'm going to be like, voy a estar ahí pendiente, right? So, bye, sí. thanks for your time. Nos vemos mañana. I'll be seeing bye, you Michelle. tomorrow. Bye-bye. Uh, See ya. Good evening. Good night. Bye-bye.